Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, we're going to take a look at my most recent purchase. It's one that I've been kind of contemplating and throwing around and finally pulled the trigger on, so to speak. And uh, that is the Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0 10mm. So, let's get into this. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So, I went out. And I purchased myself a little Father's Day gift. And that Father's Day gift is the new Smith & Wesson 10 millimeter. Well, not really new, but this one's new to me. So uh, let's take a look at this thing. First of all, before we get into it, let's take a look at what we got in the box. So obviously the pistol comes in the box. And uh, it did not come with the uh, Vortex Optic or the uh, TL r1 hl uh, streamlight but in the box came with the pistol obviously it was in that this blue bag here came with two 15 round uh, magazines and with the uh, smith and wesson if you're familiar with those you know they have different colored followers for your different calibers so the uh, 10 millimeter comes in yellow which is pretty cool so no making no mistakes uh, two of those, 15, came with a barrel flag, came wrapped up in this nice little bag here, came with a uh, lockdown lock, came with the uh, four different grips, uh, small, medium, large, extra large, I believe, and it came with this bag of... Um, plates for your your optics for your uh, screw plate kit and p core uh, for your optic because the pistol is optic ready so uh yeah not too bad uh, one thing i am disappointed in is the fact that it came in this uh you know cardboard box um my 40 over there which this adds to my Smith & Wesson collection. If you're all familiar with the channel or you know familiar with what I like, I really like the Smith & Wessons, especially the M&P 2.0 series. I just think they're absolutely fantastic uh, firearms. Um, I had the 40 there, uh, the Shield there, Shield Plus actually, and now we have the, uh, the 10 millimeter. But yeah, I'm a little disappointed that it came in this uh, cardboard box um, really wish Smith would have uh, given me a plastic box like the 40 because uh, for those people that don't have gun safes you know you might want to put a lock on your your box keep your gun secure stuff like that but it is what it is um, still picked it up so uh, let's take a look at the gun all right, taking a look at the gun again uh, the Smith & Wesson like I've said before has a great feel at least for me um let's uh let's start at the top here on the slide slide is stainless steel again uh armonite coating on it so you know it's pretty durable um you know withstands rust uh, corrosion stuff like that you shouldn't have any problems with it <clears throat> one of the things that i do like about this uh, particular pistol which is an upgrade i believe over the 40 um is the fact that they added some front um uh, serrations here in the slide uh, to you know make it easier to do a little peekaboo there into the barrel um, the 40 here is just on the bottom as you can see so it doesn't have it on the top and uh, before we go any further everything's clear magazines are empty there's nothing in the in the magazine well and uh, I purchased this so Nobody sent me anything, Smith didn't send me anything, uh, Vortex didn't send me anything, and Streamlight didn't send me anything. Everything on here I purchased with my own money. Getting back to the pistol, um, again, like I said, nice serrations on the front there, nice big serrations in the back. I think these are even more aggressive than the ones that are on the 40 and the ones that are on the 9. I just They just feel a little bit, uh, uh, they just feel more aggressive, bigger. You know, deeper so makes it makes for a, a nice uh, 
nice handling of the firearm. Uh, Armonite, four point, this one's a 4.6 inch barrel, um, full size obviously. Uh, the uh, slide is, it comes uh, optics ready, so you got your optics cut already in it. And it comes with the suppressor height sights, so you can definitely co-witness through your optic like that makes it awesome so you don't have to worry about you know getting different sights or anything like that just the three post sights uh, white dots they're not glow in the dark or anything they're not trigicon or they're they're not a uh, high vis or anything like that but with the optic on there I don't really think you need it optics cut <clears throat> the suppressor height sights and for this one I went with the uh, vortex Viper for the uh, red dot um, those plates uh, that I showed you here in the box, there's like seven or eight of them, I believe. And so they're, you know, pretty much fit whatever optic you're gonna, gonna run on this thing. Um, so you don't have to worry about going out and spending the money on extra plates. However, uh, they are plastic. So I hope that's not an issue. Uh, one of the issues that I did here uh, with these is that the uh, screws, the mounting screws, have a tendency to snap. Now, all the videos and all the articles that I've read, the people put whatever screws came with the optics. So, for an example, Hollow Sun, they use the Hollow Sun screws. Um, you know, uh, Vortex, they use the Vortex. Trigicon, they use Trigicon. And it seems like they were they're having problems uh, with them. I don't know if that's because of the plastic plate or if it's because of the the screws aren't engineered, you know, for you know the recoil of a 10 millimeter. But the Smith and Wesson comes with, as you can see, these screws. So they come with uh, I think like three or four different sets of them, and I used the screws that came. In this kit, I did not use the screws that came uh, with the Viper, so hopefully they stand up much better. Um, let's see, coming down here onto the frame, polymer frame, striker fired. Uh, you have your slide uh, release there, or I'm sorry, your takedown uh, lever there, and you have your slide release here. Slide release is ambidextrous. You got it on both sides. The uh, the uh, magazine release. Uh, comes on the uh, left hand side, but you can switch it around so it can be ambidextrous for those guys that are left handed. Nice polymer frame, really, really like this frame, and I really like this stippling. I mean, it is aggressive. You could definitely sand down a piece of wood with this thing, it's so aggressive, but it doesn't feel bad in your hands, it feels really comfortable. I mean, you know, you got this is 10 millimeters, so you're gonna have quite the recoil. Um, I definitely help. I definitely think it helps you mitigate that recoil. And the other thing, uh, just like with most of this MMP2 2.0 series, you have a high, you know, uh, uh, grip here on that handle. So that high grip, uh, you know, in relation to where the barrel is, the barrel height is definitely going to help you um, mitigate, you know, that recoil. So as far as I'm concerned, it's you know awesome has an awesome grip uh you have the uh you, know, you can change out these back straps just take that pin out kind of wrestle these out and you can change them out like i said they got the comes with four different ones this here is also a tool for uh inside the firearm here you can flip up the sear which is down here and then when you um are gonna uh, disassemble the firearm. You don't have to pull the trigger or you can just pull the trigger. Pulling the trigger doesn't really matter to me. But um, yeah, excellent, excellent stippling on that grip. Really enjoy it. And it's also got a little lanyard hole. Uh, another, you know, advantage having the, the lanyard hole. The, uh, where can we go from here? Uh, the, the Picatinny rail, <clears throat> I believe it's like a three or a four. Uh, I think it's three. Uh, you know, three rail, uh, Picatinny rail. I got the TLR one HL stream light mounted on this. Uh, this is my first TLR one, pretty happy with it. Nice and bright. 
you know, you got your constant on, you got your intermediate on, and then you got your uh, strobe for disorienting or whatever it is you're pointing at. So, um, pretty nice, pretty nice, uh, uh, flashlight for the, for the firearm. I really like it. Um, I haven't gotten a chance to get out and shoot this yet, uh, because I wanted to get, I, I purchased, uh, some bulk ammo, uh, for this, for the range. Uh, I did pick up just some self-defense rounds, some SIG, uh, self-defense rounds, hollow points, just so I would have, uh, stuff, you know, something in the gun, um, this is going to be probably one of my nightstand guns, and this is going to be a firearm that I take into the back country. Uh, I've been, you know, usually I carry this uh, Smith & Wesson shield, but uh, I live out here at the foothills of the Rockies, and I go up and play in the Rockies, and we have uh, lions and bears. So that could be a problem, especially when you're out fishing, doing any trout fishing or anything like that. You know, you can run into something. That you don't expect and it is quite large so you want to be able to have a, a big caliber to at least be able to dissuade it if not to be able to you know put it down in the event that it's uh, attacking you the trigger on this flat face trigger um, it's got this safety I forget what these things are called I can never remember the name of what you know what that thing's called but anyways flat face trigger much improved over the uh, broken curve trigger you know, on the 40. Um, but I still love this 40. This is, this is my favorite handgun. Um, and as you know, the, uh, 40 is just a neck down 10 millimeter. So I'm pretty excited for this one. Um, is it a big gun? Yeah, it is bigger than the 40, but I don't think it's unwieldy. Uh, you're definitely, I'm definitely able to handle this thing. Um, you know, would I carry it a uh, concealed carry? Probably not, but in the winter time, you know, I would definitely carry it outside the waistband especially with those heavy bulky clothes um you know and if you're you're carrying it for protection purposes you're probably going to want something a little bit bigger than a nine millimeter uh and even the 40 uh because you know everybody else has those big baggy clothes on at that time so for the winter time that's probably well when i'll carry this thing but the trigger nice nice smooth trigger got a wall right there very defined wall and then a nice crisp break and then reset on this thing is very short right there so love that trigger um, it's not jumpy it doesn't feel gritty no, it's got a nice smooth feel to it so that's a vast improvement over some of the other triggers that I've seen on some other pistols, especially like on my SIG. You know, I paid, I probably paid uh, twice the amount that I paid uh, for this, for that SIG Sour, and I'm just not happy with it, which is another reason why I got this 10 millimeter. I really wanted to have uh, something I was happy with, and I think I'm actually going to put this on my um, heavy kit for the 308. And I'm probably going to put that 40 on my uh, light kit for the AR-15. I'm just, you know, I, I nothing against SIG, um, but I it just doesn't, I just don't like it enough. I like it, but I just don't like that P320 enough um, to depend on it and, and carry it um, in any kind of situation. So definitely going to keep carrying my, my uh, Smith & Wesson's. I'm definitely going to be, you know, always carrying that, but that 40, I really like the 40, and I'm pretty disappointed in myself that I didn't get the 40 with the optics cut. Um, I am starting to get used to these, these red dots on the pistol, and I'm starting to get better with them, and I'm really starting to enjoy them now, so I think I want to switch everything over to uh, some kind of, of uh, optics cut. <clears throat> you can always get, you know, the dove mounts or whatever for these, but I'd really like to have something that's cut um, into the slide. You can also even buy, you know, just the slide itself. I think it's only a couple hundred bucks. So I'll see about that. But uh, getting back to this, uh, you know, great trigger. Like I said, it's got a little trigger bumper right there. Same as the, the 40 caliber. 
And I believe, uh, I don't think so. Uh, some, somebody said you could adjust that, but I, I think that's pretty much integrated into that. Um, you know, into the, the lower part of this here. Uh, just like on the 40, this thing has a couple indents here. So if you're, you know, you got your magazine in there, let's say you got a stove pipe or a double feed or, you know, whatever kind of jam you get and you need to get that magazine out. It's really nice because your, your fingers kind of slip into that notch and you're able to rip that magazine out because it does sit pretty flush. Uh, this magazine sits pretty flush in there, but, uh, yeah, excellent firearm. Um, it is a sexy, sexy beast. Uh, that Glock 20, you know, kind of ugly, nothing against Glock. If that's your thing, that's your thing. But for me, uh, it's just a, it's like a big brick. Um, it, for their 10 millimeter, which is the 20. But this, uh, I love it. And I've been looking at it uh, for a couple months now, throwing it around whether I want to get it. And I, I'm definitely happy that I pulled the trigger. So like I said, um, once I get some ammo in, I'm definitely going to get out and onto the range. And we'll do some videos out there shooting um, you know, on the range with this thing and with uh, all my firearms, as a matter of fact. Uh, again, uh, go over to Rumble, sign up to Rumble because I'm probably not going to post those videos here on YouTube. So if you want to see that stuff, you're going to have to to sign up over there. Uh, YouTube is just too finicky with um, demonetizing guys and girls uh, for whatever reason. I, I don't know what their reason is, but it's their platform. You got to play by their rules. So like I said, get over to Rumble, three line survival at Rumble. Uh, check me out over there. I think that's about it, guys and girls. Um, pretty much, this is going to be a short video. I'm not really going to get into too much because, like I said, I haven't shot this thing yet. But I just wanted to show you uh, what I got, you know, to add to the collection. I think the next one that I'm going to get is the 5.7 uh, Smith & Wesson. I've been looking at that one, too. They didn't have any there. Otherwise, I would have probably gotten one of those. Uh, and this because while I was there, I ended up picking up a 30 odd six. So I, I ended up walking out the store with a, a rifle and a, a pistol. But uh, yeah, thank you everybody uh, for subscribing. Our subscribers are growing and really appreciate you guys. Uh, for the new people, please hit that like and subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything, it's free. And uh, just, you know, stay tuned and see what we got coming up. So uh, take care, everybody. Uh, happy Father's Day. And uh, stay strapped, stay prepared, and have a great summer.